Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very interesting question from algebraic equations. x over 8 equal to 4 over square root x minus 4th root of x over 2. And we are going to calculate real solutions only. So let's get started by writing condition on x. As we have 4th root x, we have square root of x. So for x to be real, x must be greater than 0 positive. Now we can consider our substitution. Let's say fourth root of x equal to t. So fourth root of x will be always positive. So we can write t must be positive. I will write t positive. Condition on t is t positive. Now I will consider a squaring both sides here. So we will get a square root x in terms of t this will be t square. Again, we will consider squaring both sides. We will get x equal to t power 4. Let's apply these values to our equation. x over 8. So, we can write t power 4 over 8 equal to 4 over square root x. Square root x is t square minus fourth root of x is t over 2. Now I will add t over 2 to both sides. So we can write t power 4 over 8 plus t over 2 equal to 4 over t square. Let's write this equation here. t power 4 over 8 plus t over 2 equal to 4 over t square. Now I will multiply our equation both sides by 8 so that our denominator will be over. So multiply with 8 both sides. Now we can write our equation as 8 times t power 4 over 8 t power 4 plus 8 times t over 2 40 equal to 32 over t square. Now condition on t was t positive. Now I can cross multiply. We can write t square times t power 4 plus 40 equal to 32. Now we will expand LHS. We will get t power 6 plus 4 times t cube equal to 32. Now we can write t power 6 as 2 times 3, 4 times t cube equal to 32. Now using exponent law a power b times c, anytime we can write a power c whole power b or a power b whole power c. So I can write t cube whole square plus 4 times t cube equal to 32. Now we can consider t cube suppose equal to a then we will get quadratic a square plus 4a equal to 32. Now once t is positive our a must be positive a greater than 0. Let's write here a square plus 4a equal to 32 with a positive for real x. Take all the terms to one side. a square plus 4a minus 32 equal to 0. Now this equation is quadratic. We can use method of factorization. So we will split 4a as 8a minus 4a. 8a minus 4a is 4a. Then we have minus 32 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take a common. In the bracket we will get a plus 8. From last two terms minus 4 is looking common. So in the bracket we will get a plus 8 once again. 
equal to 0. Now I can take a plus 8 over all common. So in other bracket we will get a minus 4 equal to 0. From zero product rule we can write two equations either a plus 8 will be 0 or a minus 4 will be equal to 0. So from first equation we will get a equal to negative 8. And from second equation a minus 4 equal to 0 we will write a equal to 4. Now you can see condition on a is a must be greater than 0. So on this ground we will reject our solution negative 8. a equal to 4 will be accepted 1 for real x. Let me write here a equal to 4. Our substitutions was t cube equal to a and fourth root of x was t. So in place of a I will be writing t cube equal to 4 and in place of t I will be writing fourth root of x but before that I will take cube root both sides. Now this cube root and cube will be over. So I can write here t will be equal to cube root of 4. Now t is fourth root of x equal to cube root of 4. Now we will raise power 4 both sides. So LHS fourth root and power 4 will be over. We will get x equal to cube root of 4 whole power 4. Now using exponent law a power b whole power c any time we can switch both the powers a power c whole power b. So I can write this will be equal to cube root of 4 power 4. 4 power 4 is 256. So I can write final answer x will be equal to cube root of 256. Now we are going to verify our result. Let me write here check x equal to cube root of 256. Now I can write cube root of 256. Cube root of 64 times 4. This 64 will come out from cube root as 4. So I can also write 4 times cube root 4 or we can write x will be equal to cube root 4 whole power 4. Anytime we can write like this and here 4 times cube root 4 also be written as 2 times cube root 2 whole square this power 2. Why I am writing this? Because here we can put directly but here we have to write square root x, fourth root x. Let us begin with RHS. 4 over square root x minus fourth root of x over 2. Now I will write 4 over square root x. You can see we will use this result. Square root x we will directly write. 2 times cube root 2. So I will write 2 times cube root 2 minus 4th root of x. Here we will use cube root of 4 whole power 4. So 4th root would be cube root 4. I will write cube root 4 over 2. Now we can cancel 2 and 2. Now I can write here 2 over cube root 2. We can rationalize denominator by multiplying cube root 4 in numerator and denominator minus cube root 4 over 2. Now this will give us cube root 8 which is 2. 
so we can cancel this denominator by this numerator two so i will write cube root 4 minus cube root 4 over 2 this will be equal to cube root 4 over 2 overall now i will check our lhs let me write here lhs will be x over 8 now x is i can write 4 times cube root 4 so i will write 4 times cube root 4 over 8 now we can cancel 4 and 8 it will be 2 in the denominator so i can write lhs is cube root 4 over 2 so this is our lhs cube root 4 over 2 is our rhs both values are same so our solution x is equal to cube root of 256 is true and verified i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck